Hi, I'm Chris. I'm responding to Kurt Cameron's dumbass creationist plot against Origin of Species, and I have some things that I disagree with. Um, I wouldn't call it a dumbass plot, because, well, I look, I, I, I'm, everything they listed off, I'm, I'm fairly, I, 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 I've looked up and I, I know quite a bit about, because, I look up these kind of things. I just think religion in general is very interesting, um, and apparently these people don't. I mean, if, I mean, they, they didn't know about these things that he was talking about. When he's talking about the connection between Adolf Hitler and Darwin, Junk was like, Ugh. like, come on, seriously. Um, what he's talking about is uh, Adolf Hitler's book Mind Comp, and. Um, the way that he's referencing the origin of species like five times or something like that in that book in support of his hatred towards Jews um, because he believed that Jews were a lesser race and you should get rid of them and overall the species of it's basically like breeding humans is basically what, what, what Adolf Hitler was about it was making sure only the strongest and the best lived and that anything that was less than that got cut out and he believed that Jews were a lesser race, so he had to cut them out. And in a some sort of somebody asked a, uh, Darwin something, and he was in full support of that. Um, keep, keep, keeping in mind that was like seventy eight years before. So uh, when they're talking about Darwin's racism, keeping in mind racism was way different back then than it is now. Um, yeah, I mean, he was in full support of eugenics, is which is what uh, Adolf Hitler was about. Was eugenics, was um, making sure that humans are as strong as that they can be. And eugenics, whenever looking at it from a strictly evolutionary um, uh, side, um, makes a lot of sense. I do not support it at all. But um, if you look at it only considering. Uh, the theory of evolution, it seems like something we should really get on the ball about and start killing people who are less. Um, so that is the connection between Adolf Hitler and Darwin. And Jenk, don't do that when you don't know the connection. Because um, that is a clear connection. He says the origin of species in his book Mein Kampf. I mean, that is a connection. That's the reason why he said undeniable connection. Now, it bugs me, because I love this show. And this, this video is like a little, like, Come on, I was so biased, and you guys don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well, the banana thing, yeah, I, I don't, I never even heard of that, but it's stupid. Now, when they're talking about hoaxes, now the hoaxes is something that really, really bugs me. Um, it's because the hoaxes are, um, are uh, what he's referring to is the fact that they haven't ever found a connection between um, apes and, and man. And if you don't believe me, I want you to Google it and look it up. And when you're done looking it up, look it up again and then look it up again and then go to uh, a, a library and look up books on these things and look it up and look it up and look it up. Look it up some more. Once you think you've looked it up enough, look it up a little bit more because you're not going to find it. It doesn't exist. Um, all of the things like I was at my at my college and I was looking at the different bones and how they and then also they had this little thing that these aren't real bones that this is the uh, artist rendering of these bones this is how the artist in, in, interpreted the um, theory of evolution because as far as we know scientifically not theoretically um, this hasn't happened um, scientifically that's one thing you have to remember, that is the theory of evolution, because it has not been scientifically proven. And it will, as far as I know, in its raw state, it has been disproven um, with genetics. Um, now, when he's talking about genetics, genetics are really, really interesting. And when it comes to spirituality, genetics have, well, I'm not going to go into that, but um, they have found so much connection between uh, invisible light and um, genetic code, um, it, the, the way that invisible light and genetic codes interact with one another. It's very, very interesting. I really, I'm not fully 
accredited to talk about it, or I wouldn't say I'm not fully accredited, but I, I really haven't looked up everything on it, but I, I've, I've seen a lot of it, and I don't know all the specific codes, so I don't want to say anything that I know isn't true, because everything else I've said I know is true, because I've looked it up. Um, yes, there is no connection. You may be going, oh, Neanderthal. Neanderthal's the connection. Well, we actually now know that genetically, there, that, the, um, Okay, well, let me explain it. Um, here's apes, right? And then here's humans, right? Here's the humans. We're over there. And genetically, is what I'm speaking, Here, here's the apes. And then here's Neanderthal. So, really, it's more like, okay, uh, if, if you're an evolutionist, um, here's the apes, and then it split off like that. It didn't go like, um, okay, and then here's Neanderthal, and then here's humans. No. We're actually more closely related to the ape than we are Neanderthal. Um, we are three percent different from the ape, and we are seven percent different from ne Neanderthal. So we now know that Neanderthal was not the link between ape and man. And as far as we know, we haven't found any other link at all. Now, um, the dawn of civilization was 10,000 BC, or the dawn of man, really. That's when we really start popping up. Um, there's a few events that have come before that, but um, there's a lot of different arguments on that. And again, I haven't really done super much research. Now, the reason why that date is specific, 10,000 BC, is because when you take all the uh, Israelite genealogical codes, and they took very, very good codes back then, they Look, this is what the genealogical codes are. Every single person who had a kid, they wrote it down. And every person's a kid, kid, of a kid. If in order to prove you were an Israelite, you had to prove who your father's 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 father was. And then they go into the temple, they'd open it up, and then they'd, they'd, they'd read, oh, okay, okay, so, oh, yeah, so you really are a, an Israelite. Okay, well, now you're allowed into the community, and you can call yourself an Israelite. When you add all these up, it adds up to 10,000 BC, which is also the dawn of civilization, the dawn of man. That is when we began seeking knowledge and we started to learn, which is very, very significant because that is the main thing that the book of Genesis talks about in the first couple chapters. Now, the book of Genesis is so uh, difficult to understand. Um, it's really weird. Um, but here's one thing that most people forget, and we know this for a fact, that this book was a poem. Um, it actually is like a rhyme scheme in a language that, or actually, the, the, we do speak the language, but we don't speak that specific dialect anymore. We don't fully understand it, um, unlike every other book in the Bible, or at least every other, every other thing in the Bible, just those first few, it was a poem. And when you pick it up and you read it as a poem, it suddenly starts to make a lot more sense. You know, the apple of knowledge. We we wanted to know. We wanted. We we, we can't. We, we weren't like you know, you know. We weren't like gerbils anymore. We were just like you know. We wanted to learn, and that is really the big thing that separates us from uh, other creatures. Is that you cannot teach creatures other things. Um, as far as beauty and abstract science, we have this abstract thinking that um, all the other creatures do not have. And you can look that one up, too. Because they did teach a ape to speak or something like that. But he couldn't. He could only ask for something that he wanted. Anyways, I'm about to run out of time. Um, if there's anything that you think I don't know what I'm talking about, now, if you are just going to blatantly disagree and not look up anything that I'm talking about, then keep it to yourself, because I can guarantee you anything that I said on this is 100% true, and you can look it up. Thank you very much, and this is exactly what Kurt Cameron wanted to tell the Young Turks, but, you know, all right, thank you.